going on guys today i'm going to be doing a fuel filter change fuel filter and a water separator on my f350 dually that i use for work uh, i do have cat filters on there i did cross reference them to a wix uh, they were just a little bit uh, cheaper less money uh, do not know did not check the actual micron filtration but i am running these Wix filters on my blue truck because I have an e-fuel set up on that truck. Uh, it's been running well without any issues. Uh, but if you have the extra money and you want to pay for the name, you can go ahead and, you know, go ahead with the cat uh, yellow filters. But uh, I'm going to go ahead with the Wix and uh, let's get to it. All right. So there's the big monster pulls my big dump trailer gooseneck. Uh, I know I haven't posted any videos. Um because uh, we're just getting into season now. Um, winter time in Florida. Uh, not much tree work goes on because people are, are either families are coming into town or people are going out of town. Uh, but yeah, my filters are right there. As you can see them, the yellow cats. Uh, fuel filter and a water separator. What I'm going to do is jump underneath there and do a simple change. And uh, first thing I'm going to do is uh, turn off my shutoffs that I have on this uh, e-fuel setup. I have two shutoffs, one for the feed and one for the return. Like that. And yeah, here's the cat filters that I'm telling you about. And uh, for the set, for the set, it was about forty-two dollars, and uh, the wicks. Uh, was about $25 so you know if you want to go with the cat the number is 1752949 for the separator and R1 or 1R-0750 is for the fuel filter now it crosses to a Wix 33 33 367 fuel separator. I mean water separator. I'm sorry And the filter crosses to a 33 35 2 What's that? Right. Drain that a little bit If you have a uh, filter wrench, it always is easier getting them off. That's that. But for shits and giggles, what I might do tonight is actually check the different microns and the filtration between the cat filter and the Wix filter to see if there's any difference. Now they were they were pretty loose. Pretty loose. Now, I am not going to prime these because with the e-fuel setup is as soon as I turn my key, uh, the pump kicks on. Um, and also, I don't have any extra diesel fuel laying around. And... I don't want to pour it out of the filter into the new one in case there's any contaminants. Alright. Always look always put a little bit on your rubber o-ring on your filter. 
I always put it a little bit so it doesn't get stuck on there, you know, lube it up a little bit. You don't have to use a lot. Best thing is use motor oil. But diesel fuel is, uh, it's a lot more, has more lubricants in it than gas, so. There's that. Now I'm going to take off the other filter. And let that Prime this seal a little bit. Okay, now I'm just going to hand tighten them first. I'm going to run to the shop and grab a rag and I'll be right back. Wipe them down real good. I so think tighten them up nice. And uh, yeah. Since I had this set up, I haven't had any problems at all with it. Truck's been running great. Actually, I noticed a, a difference in the performance. I have not really checked the, the mileage. Am I getting any better fuel economy or not? But overall, it runs. It's more responsive. I like it. Right, that one's tight. Okay. Okay, both tight. Open up my valves back up. All right, open up, ready for business. Make sure my drain is closed. Okay, so yeah, if you guys enjoy the video, leave a thumbs up. Any questions, comments, leave them down below. Don't forget to share, like, and subscribe. And uh, thanks for watching. See you on the next video.